Hey, Bello Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about my bread and butter bolos. Now, everybody's definition of a bolo is something different. I call my bread and butter bolos items that I pick up cheap and I sell for $35 or less. Hey, Bello Buddies, thanks for watching. amazing, right? All right, let's get started. So I am a long tail reseller, which means I don't mind if it takes a while for my item to sell. I list it and I forget it. That's what I do. Some of these items sell fast. Some of them sell slow. I do a lot of replacement parts, uh, things that are harder to find and take the right buyer. When I say harder to find, um, like a battery compartment, something you're not going to have a lot of those because really if the toy works, I'm going to keep the battery compartment on it. If it doesn't work, I'm going to take the battery compartment off and I'm going to try to make a little money on that to make my money back from what I paid for the toy. Does that make sense? So in that aspect, some of the things are harder to find because you don't really want to take a toy apart unless you have to. So let's get started here. I'm going to share with you 22 of my bread and butter bolos items I bought low and sold for a profit. You're going to see that I source these items very cheap. Um, I get a lot of items from the Goodwill bins, garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales sometimes. And let's get started. Okay, so the first item I sold is this dress. And if you guys know me, um, I don't do a lot of clothes. I really hate the measurements. I used to be a full-time clothing reseller and I switched to hard goods probably around five, maybe six years ago. And this dress was sitting at a thrift store for 50 cents. And I was like, you know, it's vintage. It's different. I'm just going to buy it. So I bought it for 50 cents. It took a while to sell. Not one of my better finds, but did I make a profit? Yes, I sold it for $12 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $22.37. These sold super fast. So I picked up a little cube at the Goodwill bins and it had these on each side of the cube. Well, the cube had like some debris and stuff inside of it. And I'm like, I am not cleaning that. So what did I do? I took it apart and I sold the replacement cards. And actually the person that left me feedback, they're like, I probably could have made these myself, but this was much easier. And so my cost of goods was probably around 50 cents. Sold this for $7, best offer. Buyer was all in for $13.59. And they're actually two-sided there. The next item is Rolly and Bingo Puppy Dog Pals Surprise Action Walking Toys. And if I remember correctly, this was a viewer sale. And I sold these for a best offer of $13. I got them at a garage sale for $2. And the buyer was all in for $27.26 with tax and shipping. Now, these do function. They actually walk and talk. So super fun little uh, toys. This is a vintage gold tone, colorful rhinestone crown trafari pin brooch. I got this out of a T-Bowl, which is a mystery reseller box from Auctions for You. And this one item sold for $32.50 plus the buyer paid shipping. Um, I do have the whole entire unboxing on this channel. Just type in Bolo Buddies Auctions for You and it will pull it up. It's auctions the number four, and then a capital U. And it will pull up uh, all the unboxings of things that I've bought from her YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. I will link her down below. The next item is this G.I. Joe Sigma Firefly Action Figure Replacement. And I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents, took a best offer of $7, and the buyer was all in for $13.91. So a lot of times action figures, they've got some scuffs, some marks. That's okay. Just include photos of the item. Take good pictures. Show all the sides. That way your buyer knows what they are getting. Takes a little extra time, but it is worth it. The next item is this. I always, I think I might say this wrong. In, in Insco? Insco? I don't know. Boyd's Bear. It's a Boyd's Bear. And a lot of you are like, no, I'm not picking up Boyd's Bear. Now, I will tell you that the Boyd's Bear minis are still 
trending pretty good. You can still get some good money for those. The ones that are very small with the sweaters on. This one I thought was adorable. It's holding this little elephant. Super, super cute. I picked this up at the Goodwill bins and I sold this for a best offer of $27 plus shipping. It's from 2009. This right here flew out of my store. It's a vintage Carlson's Victorian Bay kit miniature room box unopened 1980 and it is sealed. And I got this at a thrift store for $1, took a best offer of 35 plus shipping. And again, it sold very quickly. Vintage Dimensions Needlepoint. Package is open, sold as seen. So I did price this lower because I wasn't sure if it was complete. Um, I did put used. It may have all been there. I'm not really sure. I got this at an estate sale, probably had about a buck in it, sold it for $18.60 plus shipping. The next item here are these Wendell August outlet covers. Um, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you have seen me sell these over and over and over. What an amazing bolo. I picked these up at a garage sale. I got a bag of this gold tone or bronze color and a bag of silver tone color. I think it was a bronze and pewter. And oh my goodness, I listed them individually and they have just been selling consistently. I think the same buyer is buying a lot of them though. I don't know why they're spreading out their buys, but they are. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the same buyer. I could be wrong. I just know that it said repeat buyer. This one, so I've got about a dollar in this and I sold this one for $26 plus shipping. This is a Fisher Price Little People Dance and Twirl Palace Blonde Prince King who is posable. And this guy came from the Goodwill bins and somebody bought him and then these two replacement uh, flags that go on top of a, it's a Disney Princess Little People like castle type thing. And these are just the flags. So they got both of those for $18.60 plus shipping. My cost of goods was around 75 cents for this and this. These are skeleton bone string lights. I got these at a garage sale for $1. They took way longer than I expected to sell. I thought they were really cool, um, but they were long tail. I ended up selling them for a best offer of $35 plus shipping. So a dollar into 35, I will take that all day long. Definitely worth the wait, in my opinion. Ella Fun, I've talked about this before. Um, a lot of times I sell the butterflies, which are the little, they're, they don't really look like butterflies, but they're the little pieces that go to the game that flutter up into the air. Um, I sell those separately. So I sold those and then this sold a little bit later. This did take longer to sell. This is the trunk and one net. So these are replacement parts. I got this at the Goodwill bins and probably had about 50 cents in it. Sold it for $10 plus shipping. This also came from the Goodwill bins. It was actually on the doll. The doll, I felt like maybe her hair had been cut or I don't know. I just, I decided to part her out. The doll sold. I sold her shoes very quickly and I just sold the outfit. So some of you may remember seeing that in one of my Goodwill Benz videos. If you guys are not checking out my Goodwill Benz videos, oh my goodness, they are so fun. You actually get to see me digging through the bins. I pop up screenshots of how I listed everything and it's just a lot of fun. So definitely check those out. I have a whole playlist. So my cost of goods was probably what, 10, 15 cents, super lightweight. And I sold this for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. The next item, this one, I really, I got it home and I'm like, why did you buy this? It's kind of gross. <laughs> it's just kind of yuck. And it's kind of got a rubbery feeling to it. And I got it at the bins. And this one actually has pretty decent comps, but due to the condition of mine, I went ahead and listed it lower and it sold pretty quick for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. And it did work. This is a Papa Smurf and you can see he is not perfect. He um, is vintage from 1981 and he is Schleich, Peo Schleich. And I got him at a garage sale for a dollar. So somebody bought the Smurf ornament and this school bus ornament, the set. Um, so they added it to their cart. For I got them both at the bins for a total of thirty-one dollars. Is that right? Yeah, I've got thirty-one dollars. 
Yeah. So $31 for the two ornaments and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these uh, 1984 Playmates Space Station astronauts. I got these out of a mystery box and I sold these for $9.92 plus shipping. This is a Leapfrog Phonics Magnet. Um, are all the letters there? Yeah, it looks like they're all there. So I do test these. Actually, when I test these, I put them over on my reseller testing Bolo products and people actually like to go and watch these videos. So I just put the letters in and test them and they actually get pretty good views, uh, which is kind of weird. But anyway, I got this for three bucks at a thrift store, sold it for a best offer of 10 and the buyer paid shipping. So not super great return on that one. This I pulled out of the Goodwill bins. It's an Invicta limited model. Um, I don't know. You can read the name, but it had interchangeable bands. Some of the bands were not in good condition, so I just tossed them. But these two bands and the band that was on it were pretty decent. So I ended up selling that very quickly for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. And there was a rhinestone missing. So that's why I sold it cheaper. This is a Disney Store Mickey Mouse Halloween Scarecrow plush doll toy. I uh, got it at a garage sale for $5. I did pay up a little bit for it because it had the original tag and it was um, Disney store. Did I make a ton of money? Nope. I sold it for $14 plus shipping, but I did make a nice profit. So um, $5, not bad. And this last but not least, the shoe, the American Girl doll shoe. This is the second time I have sold a single American doll shoe. If you find American Girl shoes and you only find one, if you're at the Goodwill bins, buy it. They sell because people lose their shoes um, and they need replacements. So I figured out which outfit it went to and I put that in the title and this sold for $7.44 plus shipping for one doll shoe. Okay, so tell me, would you have bought the doll shoe would you have listed a single doll shoe? Do you think I'm crazy? A lot of you are not going to mess with items that are $10 or less. I like it. I like I like trying to sell things that other people think will not sell. Does that make sense? I like to surprise you guys and be like, yep, I sold this little shoe. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's just who I am. I think it brings excitement to my videos and it may not be for everyone, but I enjoy it. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a video down below and a subscribe button. Um, let me know in the comments, what is your favorite type of video? Come visit me over on whatnot. If you want to see me live, I am selling live over there and there is a link down below. Uh, you will get $15 to shop if you use that link. It's my referral link if you join with it. And if you want to sell on whatnot, there's a referral link for that as well. And if you use that, they say it helps you get accepted to sell quicker. Now, whatnot. Oh, my goodness. It's so fun. I love it. I absolutely love it. I get to hang out with you guys. So many of you have come over and just hung out. A lot of you have bought things. Some of you have bought things to resell. Some of you have bought things for personal purchases. But either way, thank you so much for the support. I just want you all to know that I appreciate you. Um, do you guys have any questions for me about whatnot? Just drop them in the comments and I will be happy to try to answer those. I'm not a expert by any means, but just going on having fun, selling some of my inventory. I am still selling on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I start my items on eBay. I cross post with List Perfectly to Poshmark and Mercari. I use, um, like I said, List Perfectly to do that. That speed things speeds things up. Definitely worth it. I do have a video down below that shows you how to use List Perfectly. If you guys want to learn how to cross post, definitely check that out. Um, if you use my referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, when you um, join list perfectly, you're going to get 30% off your first month. So that is awesome. All right, you guys, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know which bread and butter bolo was your favorite. And thanks for watching.